together for Scottish Fish. happy to be kicking off this festival that we grew up with. Caroline is going to be talking a little more about that after this next set. But um, to start off with, I'm Maggie, this is Ava, this is Caroline, that's Julia, and that's also Julia. And, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I don't really have much else to say that first set. 
we've played is off of our um, new album, Free Falling. Um, and next, we have a new set for you that it just says new on our set list. So <laughs> if you have a name, if a name comes to you while we're playing the set, let us know and you can be the person who named the set. Anyway, enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hi everyone, thank you so much again for coming out. Um, yeah, so <laughs> we did in fact grow up with this festival. Um, it has really been, this is our 10th year I guess we figured out playing at this festival. Um, and I think it was our first like real gig that we ever had was playing here in 2014 on this stage in the in like Saturday afternoon and we were so stressed beforehand but it just ended up being so, so much fun um, and it just has stayed that way for all these years afterwards. I think we've been, we've I don't know, we've met so many incredible musicians who have inspired us um, to keep playing and to make new arrangements um, and it's just amazing that you know you grow up in the Catholic music scene and you come to Club Pastim um, and other venues and you watch artists play but then like once a year at this festival um, everyone's together in the same place and you get to walk around and hear all your favorite artists play um, and then eventually play yourself. So it's really been an amazing experience and it's all thanks to Club Passim and to BCM Fest. So can we give another round of applause for Club Passim? Yeah. Um, yeah, so we actually also we used to go to Boston Harbor Scottish Fiddle School, which used to happen every year in August on Thompson Island, and that's where we actually started playing together. We were like a little Kaylee band for the Kaylee night that they have there. Um, and that's when we named ourselves Scottish Fish after Swedish Fish Candy. That's kind of that whole story. I'm not going to get into it. But we're about to play a tune that we learned. Um, yeah, we learned it there, right? Yeah, we learned it at Boston Harbor from a really awesome fiddler from PEI. Her name is Cynthia McLeod. Um, you should definitely check her out if you haven't listened to her music. She's really great. Uh, yeah, this is a waltz called Miss Bromley's. Oh my god, never mind, we're not playing that. <laughs> Instead we're going to play a tune that we learned off of an album from a Scottish man whose name, their band name is spelled M-A-N-R-A-N. -N. I'm not totally sure how to say it, I'm not going to try, but it's called Spay Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Our set list is like extremely confusing. It's really just give us a minute. <laughs>
baby. Um, yeah, we already introduced the next <laughs> set by accident, but uh, yeah, it's a waltz called Miss Bromley's. Um, yeah, I'm designated to talk about social media. If you've ever been to a show of ours before, you know that. <laughs> so I've been doing it for 10 years, apparently. But um, yeah, we have an Instagram, a Facebook, um, a TikTok, if you have TikTok. <laughs> Um, but where there's le like various levels of activity on each one, I've decided, I texted in the group chat, I think like yesterday, being like, we need to be more active on Facebook, guys, because <laughs> we kind of forgot about it. But um, Instagram, very active. We have a website also. Um, and yeah, we have albums out. Um, a new one that came out in October is out there. Um, what else? We have stickers, yeah. We also have stickers. <laughs> we have stickers. We have those. Um, yeah, I just want to tell a little story, because um, you said 10 years ago, and I know, like, if you don't know us, you might not know how old we are, but um, Maggie's 18, the rest of us are 23, and, no, 22, 23, I'm 22, 22 and 23, um, so 10 years ago we were 12 and 13, and um, Maggie was 8. <laughs> uh, so, we were up on this stage, and we had this order that we played in every single time, we did a show back then, we've totally messed that up by now, we forgot about it. But back then it was like a thing, we were religious about it. And I would stand next to Maggie, actually we might be in the order a little bit. Um, but I would stand next to Maggie, she'd be on this side of me, and my bow comes down like this. And she'd be down there, because she was really a <laughs> short eight-year-old. Um, and I was just standing behind her a second ago, back there, she's taller than me right now because of her heels. Um, I was like, this is nice, actually. Like, if you were still eight years old, this would not be good. Not be a good situation. But anyways, that's that's my little, my little story. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think my favorite track from our new album, which we released um, in October of this year. Um, and uh, before we go to the next one, I'm just going to tell a little story about recording it in the studio because it was the last set that we recorded out of everything on the album. And I don't know if you noticed, but I don't usually play piano. And so it was exciting for me because we had our isolation booths like around the outside and the piano was in the middle. So for the first time while we were recording, I could see everyone while we were playing, which was fun. Um, and I think we like, it was, it was the sixth day or something. We were all really tired. I was like more caffeinated than I'd ever been in my life. And um, we turned the like main lights off in the studio. We had only these lamps around the edges. Um, and just like playing that tune in the studio, recording it, like as the last one the album was some of the most fun I've ever had playing. So I just, when we play that, I always think of that moment so I wanted to share with everyone here. And now the next set that we're gonna play we call Trip to Dingle. We're gonna do a little tuning sesh before that though because... Five seconds. Five seconds, max. <laughs> um, but I will say a little disclaimer. Oh, I'm so, well. Okay, maybe you can find another five seconds. I just hit Ava's fiddle. So both Ava. I mean, I shouldn't be talking right now. Like, I'm gonna wait. Okay. <laughs> both Ava and fiddle Julia just flew in from the airport like this afternoon. She literally got here like like 30 minutes before seven. 630. <laughs> um, yeah, and so what I'm trying to say is her fiddle was on an airplane. Mine was in my car all day because I had to go get it fixed and so it was cold. And then she was also on an airplane. Anyway, that's why we're tuning so much. I'm trying to make some <laughs> Thank you. 
I thank you all so much again for coming. Um, yeah, this is our 10th anniversary of playing BCM Fest, um, as I think has been mentioned, but it's really exciting, so I said it again. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, we're super happy to be back. Um, definitely stick around for the weekend. Um, if you play an instrument, there's going to be some jam sessions, I think, so that's going to be really fun. I'm very we're excited. We're actually crashing the Saturday one. Yeah, but, we are. Um, got a second set, so. <laughs> yeah, if you want to see us again on Saturday, we'll be at the Sinclair at... Two. Ooh, PM. Um, so, with that, uh, we're going to say farewell with one more, more set that we call farewell. <laughs>